During the time when Padre Pio faced severe restrictions and accusations, there were a few who stood by him and defended his sanctity. One of these defenders was Don Orione, who went to great lengths to support him, even challenging a cardinal. So stay tuned to hear the story. Welcome to our YouTube channel following Padre Pio, about a Capuchin friar, mystic and miracle worker whose intercession is still very powerful and active today. We publish videos and shorts five days a week, so follow us to find out more about the life of this fascinating saint and you will be amazed at what Padre Pio can do for you, a family member or a friend. During the 1920s in Italy, there was another great spiritual figure beside Padre Pio who drew the attention of believers. Don Luigi Orione, the founder of the Little Work of Divine Providence. His organizations were dedicated to caring for the poor and sick, and also helping women and children in need. He is now recognized with the glory of sainthood and was one of the great friends and admirers of Padre Pio. Monsignor Antonio Valbonesi, the Bishop of Menfi, wanted to know Don Orione's opinion about Padre Pio. The reason was, Monsignor Valbonesi had been instructed to stop visiting Padre Pio and to distance himself from him, to demonstrate, through his actions, that the Church did not endorse the controversial religious figure. However, since he did not agree with the stance of the Holy Office, he sought out Don Orione's opinion before complying with the request. Don Orione responded to Monsignor Valbonesi's letter using a language that reflected his deep humility. He clarifies right away that what he's about to write has been revealed to him by Jesus. Padre Pio must fully belong to the crucified Jesus. It was a call for Padre Pio to embrace a path of suffering and sacrifice, motivated by love for Jesus, Mary, and the Holy Church. This path, he emphasized, can only be walked with obedience, joy, and charity. Don Orione made it clear that obedience to the Church is of utmost importance. He reminded Monsignor Valbonesi that it is not our place to judge. The believer must obey, and thus Monsignor Valbonesi must obey and forget San Giovanni Rotondo and Padre Pio. Now that counsel must have been hard to follow. But the letter did not end there. Don Orione also included a declaration of high regard for Padre Pio clearly showing that he did not support the judgment of the Holy Office, nor did he consider Padre Pio to be an impostor or a hysterical person. In fact, he considered him a saint. The letter read, Your Most Reverend Excellency, embrace Padre Pio with a holy kiss, and also on my behalf, who am miserable. I would like to kiss his habit and cord for myself, and please tell him that in spirit, I fraternally kiss his hands and feet. These repetitions of kisses were not casual, but rather a way of emphasizing how much Don Orione loved and esteemed Padre Pio. Don Orione was not just a passive bystander when it came to defending Padre Pio. He took vigorous actions with the Holy See to try to lift the restrictions imposed on Padre Pio. He made a powerful contribution to spreading the truth about him to various cardinals. One of his notable interventions was a conversation with his close friend, Cardinal Carlo Perossi, who was responsible for making decisions on the Padre Pio case. However, when Cardinal Perossi claimed that his office lacked the authority to intervene, Don Orione did not hold back. He issued a severe warning that left no room for misunderstanding. Your eminence will have to repent and be accountable to the Lord. Those were some very serious words directed at a cardinal. But Don Orione's dedication touched the heart of his friend, who on his deathbed summoned Don Orione and acknowledged his culpability and the treatment of Padre Pio. It was a remarkable moment that stood as proof of the profound impact of Don Orione's advocacy. We know from various sources that Don Orione was deeply interested in Padre Pio's experiences. During the late 1920s in Buenos Aires, Don Orione stumbled upon a surprising revelation. It came to his attention that books recounting the experiences of Padre Pio had been banned, 
and people were no longer permitted to approach him. When his friends asked how the church could be so severe with Padre Pio, he replied, it's the synagogue that continues in action. Padre Pio held Don Orione in high esteem, and various testimonies highlight this mutual respect. On one occasion, when a lawyer from Montevideo inquired about Don Orione, Padre Pio responded with admiration, saying, Don Orione, he's a saint. I am not even worthy to touch the hem of his cassock. In another remarkable incident, a worker suffered a broken arm while on the job and sought healing from Don Orione. Recognizing his limitations, he humbly expressed, I don't perform miracles, but there's a Capuchin priest who obtains many graces through his prayers to the Lord. However, he lives very far away. Despite the distance, the worker embarked on a journey to San Giovanni Rotondo, where he met with Padre Pio. Recounting what Don Orione had said, the worker saw a smile cross Padre Pio's face as he responded, Well, if it was Don Arione who said so. Padre Pio then made the sign of the cross on the broken arm. To the worker's astonishment, his arm was completely and immediately healed. Filled with gratitude, he returned to Don Arione to show him the restored arm and to offer sincere thanks. It's remarkable to see the strong bond of friendship and admiration between Padre Pio and Don Arione. They both dedicated their lives to serving their communities and they shared a deep sense of humility and obedience to the church. It's inspiring to see how Don Orione defended Padre Pio's honor and took bold actions to spread the truth about his experiences, even in the face of opposition from the Holy Office. Their friendship serves as a reminder of the importance of supporting and uplifting one another, especially in challenging times. Thank you for listening. Please give our channel a boost by continuing to watch another video. This will help with the YouTube algorithm. I have recommended some videos especially chosen for you on the end screen. Or just click on one of the links in the description below for a full selection of great Padre Pio stories. We have a new playlist, Padre Pio Thought for the Day. Check it out. And don't forget to enroll your Mass intentions for next Friday's Padre Pio Holy Mass. You will find the link in the description below. And stay tuned for the next video on the life of Padre Pio.